Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. You know me. Everybody knows me. If you don't know me, why are you watching this video? You know, Sonic, even though he's not great sometimes, and even though he is amazing sometimes, <coughs> Sonic Mania, and sometimes when he's at his lowest, Sonic 06, always one thing stays the same. The music. The music. 10 out of 10. Whether it's Crush 40 or those guys from Japan. I can't remember, I'm sorry. Either way, the music is top 10. So we're going to be going through all the games right now in this one video and I'm going to be deciding which game has the best music. You'll see what I mean in a minute. We start off with Sonic Juana, the original, the OG in 1991. To be fair, there's a lot of bangers in here. Obviously, Green Hill Zone is a classic, but I feel like Green Hill Zone is a bit too traditional. It's good, but I've heard about every fucking time in every single game. So I'm going to go with something unique. I'm going to go Starlight Zone. Wait, I'll just... Here we go. Starlight Zone is so good. It's so good. It's just what is 10 out of 10. It's a good beat, honestly. I could even say it's possibly my favourite one. Oh, I'm not because I've been a bit much. Sonic 2. Um, I've got two here. Uh, obviously, I'm only going to choose one. It's got We've got Casino Night, which is a very jazzy vibe. I like it. Very funky and very nice. Also, of course, Chemical Plant. Chemical Plant, again, just like Green Hill Zone, it's iconic. Uh, chemical Plant does sound nice, but I'm going to go funky. I'm going to go jazzy, you know. It's the 90s. We've got to go jazzy. Casino Night. Win that one. Casino Night is a good one as well. <laughs> is obviously Sonic 3 uh, and there's also Sonic 3 and Knuckles I'm just going to squish those two games together because they're based that they are the same game yeah so I mean this is a bit of a downgrade really from Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 uh, so I think I'm going to say Ice Cap Act 1 so yeah we'll go with that is it good is it, it's alright though to be fair it's alright Move on to Sonic CD. Uh, to be fair, there wasn't. Ah, mm. oh, no, wait, no. Stardust Speedway, good future. Yeah. Gotta go with this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, this, this one's actually quite good, to be fair. This is that. Sonic R. Sonic R is next. Sonic R does not deserve to have the soundtrack it has. Sonic R's soundtrack goes so hard, and I don't know why. It's a racing game, and the music is so fucking good. I've got two here. Can you feel the sunshine? Ah, oh, it's a good one. Can you feel the sunshine? Free sure of rubber. Can you feel the sunshine? Oh, I can feel the sunshine, and I can feel the vibes when I listen to that song as well. It's a cracking one. But personally... You get, you have to go with it. This possibly might be the best, the, at least the vibiest song in the whole of the Sonic trilogy, Supersonic Racing. A 
that's Sonic Sun Car. Super Sonic Racer. It's too good. It's too good. It is unmatched. We move into the Dreamcast era. Dreamcast era. My console. Dreamcast is the best Sega console. Don't fight me on that. It's true. We got the adventure games. Honestly, the adventure games don't have very vibey songs. I mean, open, open your heart by Crush Four. Crush Four, you're amazing. Uh, but my favourite song from Sonic Sonic Adventure is my favourite Sonic game, by the way. Best Sonic game for me, easily. But there's only there's one song in Sonic Adventure. It's played quite early in the game. That I think is ten out of ten. And you're gonna hate me for this. I'm gonna lose so many subscribers after this. But this is my favourite song from Sonic Adventure. My sweet passion. Sonic Adventure 2, probably, I mean, it's got to be Live and Learn, the main theme. Again, by Crush of 40, it's just... Live and Learn! It's played as the Honorable Battle Girl. The, the modern era. The modern era. Oh shit, where do we start? Um, Sonic Heroes. What I'm made of. The last boss scene. This is this is where the music starts to <laughs> Instead of vibey. You know what I mean by that? You love the sound. It's alright. 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 Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. I know a lot of people like the soundtrack to Sonic the Hedgehog. I, uh, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. I think it's shit. Um, I can't really think of anything that's good. Um, I Am All of Me. That's probably the best one, but the instrumental version, because the one with the lyrics is fucking too, too much. So, well, I Am All of Me. This is the best one. Uh, I'm not going to try to do this. 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 I'm not going to try to do going to try to do this. I'm not going to try to do this. I'm not going to try to do this. I'm not going to try to do this. Even if, even if you're not a Sonic fan, if you play games just in general, you would have heard this song at least once. It's just so iconic, and it's the present of this song is a part of a terrible fucking game. Because his world is actually. Trying to let the pieces rocket, and he's ready to go. Cause now the countdown has started, and he's ready to blow. He's got the dope sounds bumping, and he's there. I'm not I'm not I'm not doing the advanced or rush games because that's just too many. We'll be here all day. <sighs> right. My favourite of Sonic Unleashed, yeah. Sonic Unleashed is alright. the music wise is alright. But this is probably the best one. It's it's all, it's like, it's, to be fair, all the day sections is probably where well, all the best music's from. Windmill Isle, uh, day section. Windmill Isle. I don't know. 
one. I think there's one obvious one for Sonic Colors there, isn't there? To be fair, if I can find it. Yeah, terminal velocity, that one. Yeah, terminal velocity is all right, I guess. It's probably the best one from Sonic. Sonic Colors has a. <laughs> Generations, honestly, Generations was hard. Not in that way, I mean, the music, finding the best music for Generations was hard because most of it was just rehashed music from like the original games. Uh, so it's kind of hard to find some good music for it. But I think Rooftop Run, uh, classic. I think, obviously, Rooftop Run. Obviously, we've already heard Rooftop Run before, but this is a good, good little remix of it. Uh, so, but it gives me a leaf as well. Next, oh, Lost World. E Lost World. Oh, I don't know. Dragon Dance, I guess. Yeah, I don't. Probably only Dragon Dance because it reminds me of Ninjago. You know, something more entertaining than Lost World. Look at the look at the vibes. This is, this is what he's doing to me. Sorry, I guess. I don't know. Lost World is one of the disappointing soundtracks to be fair, because it's just so mediocre. It's, it's alright, I guess. It's fine. I mean, I'll sit here and let's do it. It's alright. Yeah, so it's fine. Um, fuck me. No, uh, oh God, Sonic Boom, Jesus, Paul Quest. Okay. I'm just gonna combine all three Sonic Boom games together because they're just they're so they're all the fucking same. They're all the exact same. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal, and Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. They all have the exact same fucking music. So yeah, main theme. Main theme's probably the best. But then again, I'm not even a big fan of the main theme anyway. All the music in Sonic Boom is shit as well. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's alright. But yeah. <laughs> I get, it's better than Lost World, I guess, but it's just, it's just, it doesn't sound, like, exciting or triumph, good, it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound good, it's fine, I guess, it's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously, the people who were doing the music for Sonic Boom, they knew, like, how to make good music, but they just, I don't know, they just fucking didn't. Yeah, that's right, I guess. Oh, ho, ho. I know what's next. Uh, if you know, if you know the Sonic games, you'll know which game's next. So after Sonic Boom, is possibly uh, my favorite. Well, not my Sonic Adventure, still my favorite. But this is a good fucking track. Sonic Mania. I've lost the music. No, there it is. Sonic Mania has some fucking good tracks, man. So fucking good. But that's camera action. is a fucking classic from Studioopolis. Stu yeah, Studioopolis Stone. Sonic Mania, please take me. Ah, uh. good fucking song. Oh, yes, Sonic Mania is up there, man. So fucking good. Um, yeah. Sonic Force is the most recent one. Uh, 
again, Sonic Fo look, how do you make a fucking brilliant soundtrack like Sonic Mania and then convert to shit so quickly with Sonic Forces? The soundtrack again is so forgettable. Mm, but I guess fist bump theme is probably best. Fist bump, the fist bump theme is probably what everybody knows Sonic Forces as. And yeah, I guess it's alright. Yeah. It is a good track. It, I'll, I'll give it that. But everything else is on the board. So I forget. I can't do this alone. Even though I am strong. Need something more than me. Someone to push me to the dream. Let's see what we can do. To gather me and you. It reminds me of like uh, a bit of like... It reminds me of the adventure series to be fair, like something like Live and Learn and or uh, Yeah, or Open Your Heart. So it has the same idea as the adventure series, but it's slightly different from what it's Ah, I'll be honest, the chorus for this song is fucking good. Uh, there you go, that's all of them. That's that's all my favourite tracks from every single Sonic game. Well, every, every Sonic game that has good music in it. I could have gone into Sonic Drift from the Sega Game Gear, but uh, I would have rather stabbed myself in the ears. Alright, so... I'm gonna get real and personal with you. My favourite one. I mean, I could say Sonic Mania, but I'm gonna. Super Sonic Racing. Everybody's Super Sonic Racing.